Hey there, Maggie Reedy here with another video on how to rewire your brain for money, wealth, abundance, and success. And today I have a powerful tip in relation to this little sucker, your wallet. So your wallet was designed for what? Holding money. Now, what do a lot of people use it for? They stuff all different kinds of things in there, including receipts and bills and rubbish and whatever. So what happens, do you think, when you open your wallet and all you see is rubbish and receipts and all kind of stuff in there and there's no money in there? So if you open your wallet and that's what you see, what kind of message do you think that sends to your brain? I don't have any money. But if you open your wallet, and you see a stack of money in there, then that sends a message to the brain, I have plenty of money. There's always money. I have money in abundance. Psychologically, whether you realize it or not, this imprints in your brain over and over and over every time you open your wallet. The other thing is that you do want to start paying with cash as much as you possibly can. We want to keep cash circulating in the economy. Having a cashless economy will have so many repercussions. We do not want to lose the ability to use cash. So start using cash. Start normalizing plastic because when you hand over plastic, it's really there's a massive disconnect with the whole money equation. Whereas if you are handing over actual physical cash, it, you're going to be a lot more careful about the kind of things that you buy and a lot more thoughtful about the things that you buy. You're going to be less likely to buy stuff that is not going to hold value for you over time. Unfortunately, we have a psychology where we go out and we buy shit that we just don't really need and actually doesn't hold a whole lot of value over time. And this spontaneous spending without thinking about it, thinking it through properly, actually keeps a lot of people in a state of poverty. So you want to be spending your money on things of value. And I guarantee if you're handing over cash, then you're going to be much more likely to think through those purchases before you just spontaneously whip out the credit card and whack it on the credit card and think about paying it back later, right? So this simple thing about always having money in your wallet is incredibly powerful for you, for you psychologically. And please do not stuff all your invoices and receipts in there. Keep your wallet as a sacred place for money and money only. Of course, you're going to have your debit cards and your credit cards in there as well. But just make sure that every time you open your wallet, there is something in there. There is money in there that sends a powerful message to your brain. I want you to think about this. If you are a cashier at a cash register and somebody actually comes up and they're about to pay for whatever goods they have just put on your cash at your cash register and they open their wallet and their wallet's empty. Now, you may not have a conscious thought about that because this is normalized in our society. Not having physical money and cash in our wallet is very, very normal for the vast majority of people. But if you flip it and this person opens their wallet and there is a wad of cash in there, what psychological response do you have? Oh, my God, they've, they're rich. They're loaded. They've got lots of money. Do you have a kind of response that's like, geez, what are they, a drug dealer? Are they a criminal? They must be doing something dodgy. <laughs> Do you have a negative psychological judgment around that person? Think this through because your psychological response to rich and wealthy people, your any judgments and criticisms criticisms that you have is actually going to affect your ability to be rich, wealthy and successful. But if you think or have ever been with wealthy people when they whip their, their wallet out, you will notice that they always have cash in their wallet. This is an incredible psychological way to rewire your brain and it's quite simple. You don't have to keep huge amounts of money in your wallet, but keep a certain amount in there so that every time you open your wallet, you are sending a subconscious message, I have money, I have plenty of money, I have money in abundance. Speaking of cash registers, here's another tip. So you know when you get to the cash register and you've got all these things and the lady's running, running them through and you're thinking, oh gosh, I hadn't thought about this. How much is this going to add up to? And she rings up the total amount at the end. It's kind of like, 
I didn't realize I was spending so much money. Okay, so instead of that response, and you can have this response in relation to bills that come in, they call it bill shock. What I want you to do is stop and flip it. So you might have an automatic reaction. What I want you to do is say, thank God I'm rich. Do you feel the energy, the frequency and the vibration around that? Thank God I'm rich. So you are flipping again, you are flipping your psychology. You are changing your wiring in your brain. You are actually normalizing your psychology around money, wealth and abundance. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Comment below to tell me what really landed for you. Maybe you have some other suggestions that you could share with me, practices that you do that help you to feel more wealthy and abundant and shift your frequency and vibration and psychology around money. And of course, if you're not a member of the Wealth Consciousness Movement yet, then you can subscribe at the address that is on your screen right now and get instant free access to loads of EFT tapping videos to rewire your brain for money, wealth, abundance and success. I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Ciao for now.